Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal start to this astrological month, and that is because we will be in a period between eclipses right out of the gate. It was early last month that we began an extended eclipse season, and it will take us right to July 5th with the final eclipse in this series. And this is a lunar eclipse speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. This is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with an understanding of your ability to provide for yourself and to those to whom you are responsible, your ability to create prosperity for yourself. Money you earn is covered here as well as getting clear as to your spending. Outside of these practical matters, this part of the sky speaks to self-esteem and self-worth. Now, this is a very fortunate lunar eclipse, and I'm so happy to be able to say that. It is this lunar eclipse with that beautiful Uranian energy that speaks to things changing quickly. It speaks to luck. It speaks to new, fresh energy that comes along with what it is that is coming to fruition now, what may feel like it is coming full circle or even coming to a close. It is hand in hand with something brand new, exciting, and very likely surprising as well. So for some, this is going to be just very straightforward, an opportunity to make money that makes you happy, an opportunity to do work that leads itself to greater prosperity that makes you happy. But for others, this is gonna be a time when you are having a depth of appreciation, a light bulb coming on that allows you to root yourself more deeply in self-esteem and in healthy self-love. Now, this is the final of a series of eclipses that have been taking place in this part of the sky since 2018. This is the last one in this part of the sky for a few years now. It is now going forward that eclipses are going to happen in your sign and your opposite sign, and you'll be integrating these lessons that much more deeply. I am especially excited about this energy for you and the way in which it promises a redefining where it comes to an understanding of prosperity, an acknowledgement, a recognition of how it is and where it is that your life is prosperous right now. As we navigate later in the month, we will have another rare phenomenon taking place right around the 20th. Now think back to last month. It was right around the same time of the month that we had a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse is a new moon. And that solar eclipse happened at the very beginning of its respective sign. And solar eclipses being very powerful new moons at the very beginning of its sign represented a true new start, but just the very beginning. And for some, it might've felt like a surprise that came out of nowhere. Well, now we're going to have a rare second new moon in the same part of the sky, but this time it's happening at the end of its respective sign. You add to this Saturn is standing across the sky from this new moon, and that speaks to that sense of time, that sense of understanding of where compromise needs to happen, but also Saturn itself can speak to limits and it can speak to endings. So just like the lunar eclipse early this month, it is a closure with a new beginning. This too represents a sense of a new beginning, but there's also a sense of letting something go so that you can move yourself forward in a brand new start. And this also allows any new beginnings to really take root and flourish from here. This is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with your relationship to financial institutions. And it has to do with your understanding of transformation and genuine regeneration at that. Where is it that you are ready to look more deeply to understand what stays and what goes? This part of the sky can speak to karmic closures as well, but these are closures that you choose, closures that you decide are worth undertaking or not. There's also a sense with this of you being so deeply honest with yourself that you can't help but be different in the process. Now, of course, it can be at this time that you're having to interact with financial institutions, whether it is for a grant loan bursary, 
or insurance payment or tax return or benefits you may qualify for or financial settlement. With Saturn standing across the sky, um, chances are that whatever does transpire, it is going to involve compromise. There may be a measure there of it being very fair, not necessarily the boon that you would hope. And it may be the case that you need to demonstrate um, more than anticipated. So whether that is filling out more documents, whether that's having more meetings, whether that's needing to prove need or that you have the collateral, these are the types of situations that can come up that can lend themselves to finding your way forward, finding a need to compromise as part of securing funding for yourself. But the good news is when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. There may be extra steps with Saturn. However, they require that you show up, you do your part, you surrender the rest and know that with such strong financial energy, things have a way of falling into place. Now, where it comes to matters of love, the very big news this month is Venus leaving shadow towards the end of the month. If you think back late last month was when we had Venus going direct. That in and of itself represented a big turning point. But it is late in the month that we are going to have Venus connecting with Neptune for a third and final time before Venus leaves shadow, ending these larger Venus retrograde season lessons for you. Whatever happens in the last few days of this month will in some way evoke what was taking place for you way back in the middle of May. Now you add to this the layer that it is going to be at the end of the month that Mars is going to enter shadow. And as Mars enters shadow in a very romantic part of the sky for you, it is going to be important for you to pay attention because just as you are putting aside one set of love related lessons, new ones start to present themselves to you. It is a hugely important year for Sages in the context of love. And this month represents an important moment as part of that larger 2020 trajectory for you. What does happen towards the end of the month will be understood differently once we navigate into November. So that's how far ahead we're looking, but it is an important time. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, I do think that it may be as we move towards the end of the month, I'm thinking about the 24th, the 26th, as Venus is connecting with Neptune and gearing up to leave shadow. Uh, that is when you may attract an experience in the days leading up to that, that is reminiscent of what was taking place back in the middle of May, whether it is that someone that you might've been interested in comes back around and you get further insight, or whether you have a brand new interaction that shows you where you are in love and why, just know it is possible at this time to become a little bit disappointed or discouraged. But that is part of rooting yourself in faith that there is love in the world for you. And I'll tell you, you are truly still at the beginning of larger, important love related lessons that have yet to unfold as we navigate 2020. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, it can be a meaningful time as well. It is in the context of getting to know someone new that you are looking at where it is that perhaps some imperfections are, where it is that perhaps you've been filling in blanks or seeing what it is that you wanted instead of what actually is. Now, this is where genuine partnership can start to take root. It is when we are willing to see a person as they are beyond the illusion as a genuine human being flawed that true love can begin. And so in some ways you are looking at this person and yourself differently and more deeply, but at the same time, it is the beginning of a larger transit, the very beginning of a larger transit before the month is even over. And so as you are looking at what works and what doesn't, know that this represents an important moment, but ultimately there's more still to know. For some though, this may be one of those turning point moments where you realize that perhaps the difference between what's real and what you had hoped is too vast and you're ready to go in a different direction. And for those of you in an established bond, this is a powerful time as well. Whether it is that you feel 
exhausted or tired in some way through what it is that your partner needs, whether it is that there was a lot of hope placed on a particular outcome and it's looking kind of uncertain as we navigate later into the month, but it may also be that the two of you together are looking at disappointments, whether or not they are related to the partnership itself. Now, regardless, this is a time that can be navigated. It asks for patience, but more importantly, it asks for genuine acceptance of each other. If you can do that, then real compassion is able to take hold and bring the two of you that much closer. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, but I am going to say that lunar eclipse at the beginning of the month, that is because it is an energy of prosperity. It is an energy that reminds you that things can change quickly and very much to your liking that sometimes life can surprise you. And in those moments, you get to glimpse more of yourself and more of your life. Whether it is that you are seeing yourself more prosperously than you have in a while, or whether it is in more practical ways, you are finding your life becoming more abundant. It is a time of change, and it is a time of grateful closures and accelerated blessings. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.